my fellow members of parliament, the fourth division commander and your team, all the protocol observed. My name is Gilbert Olanya, the member of parliament for the Laksa, and I have been in the issue of affair right from the beginning up to now. Right out of Prime Minister, your coming is quite good and we welcome you to our district. And when we receive the information that you are coming to make a pronouncement on the issues in a power, I was very happy. And I still don't know what they are going to tell us. And what they are going to tell us today, I know you are going to make the pronouncement that the long suffering of the people of a power should come to an end today. And I know you are going to make the pronouncement that the people of Wapa should enjoy their land right as given by the Almighty God. So your coming is so paramount and we welcome you to Amo. Last Wednesday, I traveled to Arua. I wanted to assess how many of our people are arrested, are in prison. Right now, Prime Minister, right now in Arua High Court, people who are still remaining there are 13 able youth from Apar. 13 of them. All of them are arrested and charged with murder. They think that if they arrest you, they charge you with murder because the president says no bail for murder cases. All our youth that are arrested are charged for murder, they are just locked in prison. Amidst them, a primary school teacher who was arrested going to teach, he was arrested, charged with murder, and right now is locked in prison. In prison, a human open GG, right now we have 25 youth. All of them are charged with murder. Because they know when you are charged with murder, you will never be given bail. Madam Prime Minister, what is happening? I think government has taken sight. <coughs> government is so biased on the people of Acholi who are living in a park. And all what they are doing, they are doing with impunity. It's quite unfortunate that the fourth division commander is here. The army, the skilled personnel who are living in a park are the ones right now escorting the Mari community, bringing the Mari people to occupy their children home. Under the words of the skilled people, the UPDF, they are here. They are the ones commanding the Mari community. They command them, they chase away their children from that home, and they allow the Mari community to occupy the home of their children. They are here. You have moved in good swing. And right now, I am telling you what is happening in Apa. We are not happy. Because the government is biased. And for your information, Prime Minister and the Minister President, you may be new in the office. If government has not told you the truth about Apa, then you will get to know. The land of Apa was given to an investor called Bruce Martin, who comes from South Africa. Bruce Martin told me personally that he, he paid a huge amount of money to the government of Uganda. And the government of Uganda is promising that the land will be handed over to him. Right now, they are using you, the security personnel. They are using the OA. They are using the National Forest Authority. There is nothing like National Forest Authority land. There is nothing like OA. All those are pretends to make sure the land is handed over to that investor. 42,000 people living in a park. Because of money, you want people to leave that land. I think this is quite embarrassing. But good enough that we are very confident. In this world, God has done one great thing that everyone will die. That is the best God has done. 
Even if you pretend that you have everything on earth, you have all guns, you have all money, everything. But the time will come, you will die and leave those things. Why not to live like human beings? All human beings are equal. We all breathe the same oxygen. We are all born by a woman. All this flesh is mortal. We are all mortal. No one is immortal on earth. So when you are taking any decision, look at the suffering wife, the suffering woman who is there deep in the village in Abba. I think you are coming here, we are very happy. We are going to listen what they are going to say. We are going to listen very attentively. But I'm telling you what we should know is, as I call stated, the proposal the former Prime Minister came up with, the right or wrong, Prime Minister by then, his proposal was an insult to the Italian community with impunity. It was undermining the rights of our people owning land in a park. How can you propose that someone be given 10 million cities when you have national identity card? Those are without national identity card, he proposed that they should be given 2 million Uganda cities and they go away. Someone who is born in that land, he grew up in that land and he has never known any place on earth. So I pray your pronouncement should not insult, should not abuse the Israeli community. And luckily enough, we are there in Unapa, and we shall be in Unapa. We shall be in Unapa for the rest of our life. People of Unapa will produce their children there, they will grow up there, and they will die and be buried there in Unapa. <laughs> we as leaders, we are wrong. I pray that God should keep us for quite a longer time. And I pray what you tell us today will make our people happy. And pass our information to the president. When we were in Otuke, we told the president of the Republic of Uganda about the plight in Napa, and the president promised that that day at night. night, that day at night, he was going to set up a team that will end up the issue of Napa. That day at night. Now four months down the road, Nothing. I am telling you, I am happy that our people are all that not very stupid. We know what is there. And we know the character of each and everyone. If the whole age of state could come and lie to our people, we have written it down, we have marked it as a jury. Properly, we have marked it. And the time will come that we shall answer. I pray, pass our message, that we are not happy. Let him solve the issue of our power. Let our people cultivate their land. Let our people enjoy their land rights. Let them continue living peacefully in their land. That is what we are intending. And finally, as you are going to come up with the other resolution, other people who are arrested from our power, they had farms. And in the farm, one of them by the name of Jara Stevie. Ojara was having 486 heads of animals. And all those heads of animals were stolen by the skilled personnel who are here and the Malik community. They divided these animals, they ate all his cows. Our UPDF, the skilled personnel, and the Malik community, they ate all the cows of our brother Ojara, 486. After chasing him away from removing his animal, they arrested him, they charged him with murder. Right now he's rotting in prison. In Arua. He was arrested one year ago. And his home was given to a Mari community to take charge. The UPDF are one protecting that Mari person. You can now see the kind of country, the kind of country we are living in. I know we all belong to this country, 
And Uganda is for everyone. Treat everyone fair. I say hold this for God and my country.